Hello, hello, and good evening. Making sure my water's nice and close. We have, we have stuff to give away tonight. It is Wednesday, August 31st. I think my camera might be a little wonky, but hopefully it's okay. Hello, Darlene. Hello, Karen. Hello, everyone. Hello, Faith. Hello everyone who's tuning in. I cannot, cannot believe that we are at the end of August. I'm gonna just pop this here on the screen. Um, where did the month go? Where has the year gone? Um, you know, school is just around the corner for all of you teachers. Best of luck, kudos. I'm sure you've been spending the week getting ready. Um, I know Charlie starts on Tuesday for his last year of high school and that in itself is boggling my mind. Um, but here we are still in the last day of August. So we can still pretend it's summertime. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, we have a jam packed agenda for tonight. Uh, Matt's saying we do and he knows we do. Um, I've got a few new goodies to show you. Um, I have some new goodies to tell you about, um, but unfortunately they got left at the store by mistake. So we will uh, just talk about some of those goodies. My oh, Matt's taking my phone so the telemarketers don't bother us. Um, and we have stuff to give away. So tonight is Wednesday number five in our fifth anniversary. And we are going to give away five more secret word prizes. It is the last round of secret word prizes. And because we have a shortened program tonight, we may only, um, we may only get to show it a few times. So watch carefully. When we see, or when we see, when you see the secret word or phrase, come across the screen and I'll try to be slow because it's a little bit longer tonight. Um, put the secret phrase in the comments and Matt will keep track of you. Now, if you are, if you see it two times, if you see it three times, you only need to comment once. So don't worry, if you've already seen it, if you've already commented, you do not need to, to comment again. You will be entered to win and we'll give away five $10 gift, uh, gift vouchers tonight. Um, like I said, five Wednesdays, fifth anniversary, five prizes. Are you starting to see, are you starting to see the pattern here? We are also going to draw for our grand prize giveaways. So we have five paper bundles to give away, five stamp and die bundles to give away, five $25 gift vouchers to give away. And for all of you who have been waiting, we have one, one rose gold limited edition big shot to give away. And we have already picked the winner and I know, I know she is going to be thrilled. Um, Matt says I just gave it away by saying she, but I think that's a pretty safe, a pretty safe um, pronoun to use in this group. All right, so let's get started with the new stuff. Then I will um, give a few announcements then we'll give away the prizes, then we'll give away our last secret word prizes. So while we are here, while you guys are tuning in, uh, while we are getting started, how about we see that secret phrase? What? Uh, what? Right off the bat. I caught my, a bit by surprise. So make sure you're putting that secret phrase right here again, going slowly across the screen. All right. Put those in the comments. You may see that one or two more times during this presentation. Um, guys, we are still, still, still in Christmas mode. So I have some more holiday stuff. As if you have not been inspired enough already, um, we have some more holiday lines from Echo Park. So I'm gonna start off by showing you Christmas salutations number two. Last year, Christmas Salutations was a popular line for card makers, 
and this is all for card making. So it's got uh, call outs, it's got cut aparts, it's got some great pattern paper and I, you know what? We need to see this. So let's, let's crack this open. Now with this one, uh, we only brought in the six by six. That's it. Um, but card makers, you guys will find it worthwhile. Absolutely. And you know what? If you are a scrapbooker, there's lots of things you can do with six by six. So let's take a look at these. So compared to last year's, the colors are a little bit more brighter, a little less on the vintagey side. But look at some of these great sentiments. Look at that snowflake paper. It's the most uh, wonderful time of the year. Thinking of you at Christmas. Look at those poinsettias. Lots and lots of great little two by twos. How cute are those? Those would make great little call outs. Whether you're doing a December daily, uh, maybe you're doing more of a mosaic type layout, um, or if you are just making tags or cards, this is a really great pad uh, for that purpose. So that is salutations number two. We also have, just when you thought they were gone, we have Gnome for Christmas. Another adorable Gnome line, this one from Echo Park. I'm showing you the six by six pad and the six by six mega pad, but we have all kinds of things for this line. Let me pull over this guy here. So this is the 12 by 12. Uh, we do have single sheets in this line as well. Um, but I love, I love this cute little Santa elf gnome paper. Um, the Christmas trees are super cute. We've got our station wagon with the, with the Christmas tree. It is absolutely adorable. Nice, rich colors without being too dark. Sometimes that sticker sheet uh, really shows off. So we've got a car. Look at that Santa mug, the deer. Um, this is a really adorable line. Uh, probably my favorite of all the Echo Park Cartabella lines this holiday season. Uh, so we've got the collections. We've got the six by six. We have the solids that goes with it. I'm just going to tuck that under, get rid of my little love note from Matt. Alan, I know you are saying that Halloween is more fun. Um, hold on to that thought because there might be something for you later on. Um, and then we've got our chipboard accents. We've got our ephemera. We've got our frames and tags. We have our enamel dots just like just like you would expect from Echo Park. Look at that little gnome in the snow globe. Even Ellen can't resist that gnome. No matter how much you like Halloween, that gnome is adorbs. Puffy stickers. And speaking of that gnome, and you know what, Ellen, maybe this is the one for your collection because you can change up the color. We have a little Santa gnome die. Imagine if you took that Christmas tree away and made him a um, great pumpkin. Halloween gnome. You can make them out of orange and purple. That's one thing I like about dyes so much is that you can change it up uh, depending on whatever colors you use. So that is gnome for the holidays. Sorry, gnome for Christmas. Got that wrong. Gnome for Christmas from Echo Park. Really, really cute. Really, really cute. Next up is, is this one is called White Christmas, and it is a Steve Duncan collection uh, from Cartabella. This one, we have the collection pack, and I'll bring it up close in a second. We have the basics. We have the sticker sheet. If you just want to get stickers and maybe use some of the paper you have from last year, look at that Santa in the Christmas tree. So super cute. And we have the six by six. So let's take a closer look at it. Um, I think I've said this before, but in case you're not familiar with Steve Duncan, one of his um, unique traits is that he hand draws all of the icons that are in his papers. So look at that Santa. Look at that beautiful Christmas tree. Look at that star. The cute little birdies. Sorry, I'll come down here on camera. Again, that Santa carrying the tree, the great banners. Um, this ornament paper is absolutely gorgeous. Some great plaids, great little post boxes, gifts. Really is a very unique uh, style and gives, 
I'm not going to call it vintage because I don't, I don't in my head don't see this as vintage, but maybe retro is a bit uh, as a better word. And it, as you know, that's got a bit of a different con connotation. Certainly takes me back, you know, with the the station wagons and everything else. Bless you, Matt. Um, the little house, you know, twas the night before Christmas. This says all of those things to me. And like I said, here's the here's the sticker sheet. Again, that sand or that snowman, the birds, Santa in his sleigh. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of uh, holiday Christmas stories in the little golden books. I know when I was a kid, you know, I devoured the little golden books with the golden spine and the little cardboard cover. Um, this really reminds me of that and takes me back uh, to those days. So it's got a really warm feeling to it white Christmas even though it's snow it still warms my heart and I hope it warms yours as well all right and it looks like when I was talking about the gnomes I forgot to show you the washi tape uh, so we have a red Merry Christmas we have this beautiful one here I don't know if it's going to translate well on the camera let me see if I can pull it down a bit it has, it's got a black background with red poinsettias and all kinds of little uh, flora and foliage in there. And then we have this one here that is red snowflake. So simply called Snowfall. The poinsettia one is called Gnome for Christmas Poinsettia. And this one is called Mistletoe with the Merry Christmas on it. I love washi tape for bordering my projects, whether it is a layout or whether it is cards. And I use washi tape probably most often on my envelopes. So it's a great way to seal envelopes and just give that little bit of flair on the outside to match all your creativity on the inside. All right, the other thing uh, with Echo Park is they have not one, but two holiday binders this year, holiday albums. So if you want to do yourself a um, December countdown, a traditions um, album, or even if you just want to capture certain memories for the holiday season and have it in an easy to grab uh, format. Um, I know when my kids were small, I started doing a pictures with Santa mini album. So every year you can um, collect those memories with your picture with Santa and their wish lists. Uh, these are really, really, really beautiful. So this has that same car with the presents on it that we saw in that other line. And it looks to me like these are just the binders. There are no pages inside them, but we do have the six by eight binder pages from both Echo Park and Simple Stories. Now the Simple Stories ones are a little bit thinned out from our sale on the weekend. Um, but we can definitely bring more of those in and have them on order already. So don't worry about getting pages. We can get that. And that's the nice thing about Echo Park. And we'll talk about simple stories in just a minute is that their pages are interchangeable. The binder rings are in the same place. So you can absolutely mix and match. So great for memory keeping and so on and so forth. All right. Next up, this one's for you, Ellen. So we're going to go back in time a little bit. Um, simple stories. We've actually received, uh, and Matt, correct me if I'm wrong, five new lines from Simple Stories. Yes. Five new lines. Two of them are in the new arrivals section already. Matt worked really, really hard to get them in the system, and then we inadvertently left the bin at the store. So I'm just going to show you the teaser photo. If you go to the new arrival section on the website, so what you're going to do is if you go to our website, which sort of looks like this, you're going to go to shop online. There will be a drop down menu and it'll say new arrivals. That's where you're going to find all of these. They're organized by month. So you can go back, you know, back into all of August. You can go into July. You can go into June, see all of the new arrivals. But Ellen, Oh, Matt is telling me that because today um, was a little bit crazy and these are so fresh and new, he's put these in the September new arrivals. So 
even though tomorrow's September, today's not September, if you want to see these new Simple Stories ones, go into the September new arrivals. But don't forget about August and don't forget about um, July as well. So Simple Vintage, October 31st. Here is your Halloween, Ellen. There are all kinds of great plaids, great little vintage characters. I love this kind of black or white on black uh, pumpkin background. And we've got a good part of this collection in stock. So make sure you go to the new arrivals to see all the different pieces that we brought in. And then the second one that I'm gonna be able to show you tonight that is in the system is Hearth and Holiday. Now, I, Matt, correct me if I'm wrong, this one has one of those albums as well, correct? Correct. There is an album that has the same look and feel as the Hearth and Holiday line. And like I said, with the Echo Park ones, you can uh, mix and match the pages. So go and check these two out. Go and check these two out on the new arrival section for uh, September. And over the next couple of days, maybe early into next week, once we get through the long weekend, um, look in those new arrival sections for the other three lines coming from Simple Stories. Uh, you don't need to wait for me to come live next Wednesday. You can absolutely um, go into the new arrivals every single day. I will let you in on a secret too. Shh. We got some boxes from uh, Spellbinders today as well. So you might want to be stocking that new arrival section if you are a Spellbinders fan. All right, so that is new collections from Simple Stories. How about, how about Matt's calling for it and I've already got it in my hand? Secret word, our last secret phrase for the month of August. If you are just tuning in, uh, you can make sure you put this secret phrase in the comments for your chance to win a $10 shopping voucher. If you've already commented, you don't need to comment again. So one last time here. And I am going to interject uh, our product extravaganza with an announcement. Tune in at uh, 1 o'clock on Friday. I'm going to post it in um, the group or the on the page tonight as well. Deanna's coming back. Deanna's got another amazing class for us. And we have a very limited number of kits to sell. So that's all I'm going to tell you. Friday, 1 o'clock on our Facebook page. Come and see Deanna. And me too, but I'll just be in the background. All right, two more collections to show you. These two are from Craft Consortium. Uh, Craft Consortium is one of our UK brands. And the first one I'm going to show you looks very Christmassy, but absolutely could be used at various times of year. Um, it doesn't have to be Christmas. Look at this absolutely scrumptious tartan paper. Just take it in. 30 sheets, double-sided, 20 designs. Let's see if I, where's the opening here? Oh, here we go. Look at all those plaids. I just can't get enough of these. They are absolutely gorgeous so versatile to be used for this to me just looks like a nice big cozy blanket so it could absolutely be for winter does not have to be for christmas um it is gorgeous look at that green you know what store green gotta love the uh the paper crafters workshop green right here in a plaid two different plaids so this is all double-sided you've got all kinds of choice and um <laughs> I didn't count. I think that's maybe what? One, two, three of each pattern. So you've got lots of choice, 12 by 12, as well as six by six. So you don't want to miss out on those. Again, limited quantity on that. And then, because we need some more Christmas in our lives, we have Tis the Season. And this is an, oh, it, it's absolutely stunning. We've got our partridge, or our pear from the pear tree with the partridge. 
Look at those flowers. So this one looks like there's four. One, two, three, four of each sheet. There's a cut apart uh, fussy cutting page here on the inside cover. Look at all of those beautiful, beautiful pages. Diane Bruce has it right. It's so pretty. Look, this one has a varnish on it. You can see how it's shiny in places. So you've got some that have that specialty finish on it. And we have that in the 12 by 12, in the six by six. We have some little chipboard embellishments to go with it. We have matching pearls and adorable little bells. This would be great for gift decor or wrapping things up. Uh, Karen, you've got it right. This exquisite is definitely the word for it. Very sophisticated, yet still bright and colorful and very fitting for the festive season. All right, I am going to um, talk about, what else am I gonna talk about? I'm gonna talk about, so we already teased you a little bit about that Deanna class. Uh, for those of you who are with me last week, uh, we had our Lawn Fawn launch and we have three Lawn Fawn classes. So these two classes here are taught by Jen Shirkus and you have to go to her website and register for those classes. Uh, the intention being that you use the stamp sets and you purchase the stamp sets and the paper, everything else and do all your kidding yourself. However, we are the supplier of kits in Canada. So if you don't want to buy all the things, if you just want to dabble, if you want to just create some beautiful little cards, I believe there's three cards in each class, um, come to us. We've got the kits. We will do all the stamping, all the die cutting, all of the prep for you, and we can send those out to you. Our goal is to have them both ready at the same time so that we can ship them together. Um, so this is going to be a really fun classes. Jen goes through Copic coloring and all these kinds of things. Uh, Shamia, I believe the kits are $24. Just double check on the uh, website. I believe they're $24. Because uh, there is, there's, you know, stamping and die cutting and all kinds of fun stuff that goes into these kits. And then on October 30th, we have Pivot Palooza. This is a specialty class where we're going to specialize on the Pivot Pop die, which is a long, long, long time uh, favorite die from Lawn Fawn. You don't get the die in the class. We will have them on hand. They are on order and going through processing right now, but we will cut you all the pieces. And I am working with two other stores. There's Crafty Capers from Nanaimo, BC, and um, Scrap Addicts from Edmonton, Alberta. And each of us are going to do two cards. I'm doing a fall and a Halloween one. Ellen, I've got your back. Uh, the designs are in my head. I just need to spit them out onto paper, but we'll be able to show you those shortly and uh, everything will be ready for you October 30th in a Facebook group, uh, six great cards. You will be a pro, an absolute pro at the Pivot Pop um, when we're all done the class. So last little announcement that I'm going to share with you is we have five, ironically, five kits for Maker Mania. I will show it one more time. Matt's asking me about the secret word. It's going to come up one more time. And so keep your eyes open for it. Uh, Karen, yeah, Crafty Keepers is amazing. Scrap Addicts is amazing. It's really great to partner with some of my uh, friends that have uh, become great partners as well over the last couple of years. So Maker Mania. Let me tell you a little bit about Maker Mania. For those of you who don't know, Maker Mania is a weekend long extravaganza where it is, where you will feature, this time is 21 of our independent stores. We have a kit, we're all gonna create with the kit and you are going to be chock full of inspiration and ideas. So we have five kits left. We always hold back a few just to make sure all of the shipping kits land and get there safely. So we now have five kits that are available. Maker Mania is 
next weekend, not the long weekend, but the following weekend. So if you want to get in on this, you need to get the kit fast. The kit is $120. And if you figure that every store is going to do at least two projects, usually three, four, possibly even five. And if you're Janice in the UK, she does like 27. Uh, it worked out last time to be about 70 cents per project that you are inspired to do. You can't do, you can't do all of the projects with this one kit, but you can pull from your stash. You can buy new paper. You can just get ideas for your own crafting. So this year's or this Maker Mania kit is sponsored by uh, 49 and Market and Sizzix. And look how, look how big this kit is. Like it is phenomenal. And so there is, I'm going to open this up and just show you all the things. And while I'm getting this unboxed, let's do our final reveal of our secret word and phrase. I'm keeping Matt hopping in the other room. So from, all right, last one. So let us take this away. You've got a couple more seconds while I'm going through this to put that comment in the comment bar. Uh, in this kit, you're going to get one Sizzix die. This is great crochet border, so many different ways to do it. You're going to get a second Sizzix die. Alan says, we are ending August with a bang. You have got that right. Um, so two Sizzix dies. You get a Sizzix embossing folder. And you know what? The best thing about Maker Mania is that you have 21 stores that all have their own style, all have their own specialties. And again, the ideas are amazing. And then a stamp and die bundle. From 49 and Market, there is an ephemera pack. There are, I'm gonna pull out, there's a whole bunch of goodies in here. And it's getting stuck on the bag. So there is a whole sheet of laser cuts. There is a whole stack of gorgeous 49 and market paper. A real co a, a collection that is curated from a whole bunch of different lines, but they all coordinate together. Uh, there are some cut aparts. There are rub-ons. And you also get half of a six by six, or sorry, six by eight collection washi tape and extras. So if you want to join in, Maker Mania 6, the remaining five kits is now on the website. Run, don't walk to grab these fantastic kits. And you know what? If you cannot join us live, the videos stay recorded forever or as long as Facebook exists. So, you know, whichever comes first. Uh, you can go back time and time again. And I have customers that come in who are part of Maker Mania 1 who say they keep going back to those projects. Then there was two, three, four, five, and now six. You don't want to miss it. Plus, if you join us this for this one, you become a Maker Mania alumni. And sometimes there's little extra goodies that go along with being an alumni. So you want to get in on it now. All right. So I am now going to officially close commenting on the secret word so that Matt can do his tabulation. And at the end of this video, we are going to announce the last of those five secret word winners. I am going to take a quick sip of water. While I do, I'm going to remind you that we are closed this Labor Day weekend. And by closed, I mean for in-store shopping. The website is open 24 seven. Shop in your pajamas, shop in your swimsuit. I can even dare say shop in your birthday suit if that's what does you, does you happiness. Matt says we're not going there, but you know what? You do you. So there are gonna be lots of great stuff up on the website, all of that new stuff. Um, Karen, thank you for those kind words. We're trying. <laughs> my, my mouth is dry trying to get all this amazing stuff out to you. 
But don't forget, the newsletter will hit your inbox tomorrow. Um, might be a little bit later in the day tomorrow. There's some stuff going on in the morning, but I will do my best to uh, get it out to you. Uh, Sheila is saying that my cards and scrapbooking pages that I created were fabulous. Thank you for those kind words. Um, I will tell you this time personally, I have created a two page layout. Teaser, I have created a three page layout. And if you want to know what a three page layout looks like, you're going to have to join Maker Mania and get in on it. And I created, I think I've got four what I call off the page. So 3D projects that I'm going to be sharing in my very brief, very fast 45 minute presentation. If you have any questions about Maker Mania, please don't hesitate to email us. Uh, customer service. Here, let me pull this out customer service at craftersworkshop.ca and uh, we're happy 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 to answer any questions you may have all right so while matt is tabulating the last of the secret word giveaways let's have a drum roll because we have these grand prizes to give away now if you're just tuning in um, the grant, the prizes were given away. You got one ballot for every $50 you spent in the store during the month of August. It has been a super crazy month. It has been so much fun and it's been wonderful getting so many great, great products in your hands. I will tell you that we had almost 1,700 entries to choose from. That's a lot. So thank you. Thank you from the very, very, now I'm getting emotional. Uh, thank you from the very bottom of my heart on behalf of my amazing team. Uh, thank you to that. Thank you to Darlene and to Chris and to Marcy and to Tanya and to Alexis and to Carol. Thank you to Matt and to Charlie. Huh. Matt saying it's not that emotional, but he clearly, even after almost 30 years, doesn't know me that well. Um, it has been truly an honor to be able to provide you guys with inspiration and keep you crafting. So thank you for your support. It has been an amazing month. It has been an amazing five years. So without any more ado, no more tears, no more emotionality, I am happy and thrilled and excited to announce uh, let me see if I can do this in a secret way. So our first set of prizes is for paper bundles. There'll be a selection of uh, 12 by 12 collection packs that we have pulled together. And so our five winners who will be, I will send out emails uh, either tomorrow or Friday if in case they're not watching live. Uh, it'll be in the newsletter tomorrow as well. But our five paper bundle winners are Karina Lamar, Joy Godette, Pat Kruger, and Pat was actually just in today, so hello again, Pat, Deidre Byberg, and Linda Hardy. Let me move this up. You ladies are, are our five paper bundle prizes, prize winners. You're not, you are a prize, absolutely, but you are our prize winners for paper bundles. Congratulations. We have five stamp and die bundle winners. So please join me as I congratulate Sue Taylor Hill, Jan Laval, Dee Hamoon, Roz Kelly, and Lisa Tops, lots of gifts for lots of very deserving people. So thank you very much. We have five $25 shopping vouchers that we are going to give away. Yes, Joy, you won. You won one of our paper bundles. So I'll be sending you an email. It'll also be in the newsletter. Don't worry, we will not let those prizes go to waste. All right, five $25 shopping voucher winners. It is non-stop prizes. You are right, Ellen. All right, congratulations to Jana Zavitz, Sharon McDonald, Grace Hull, Darlene Eames, 
and Carrie Ricchetto. And I apologize if I pronounced anybody's names incorrectly, but congratulations to those five winners. So that's 15 winners. But, but, there is one prize still to be given away. Our grand prize for this month was a rose gold limited edition big shot. No, I don't think there's room. Matt was going to bring it over. Oh, he's going to squeeze it in here. Let me raise the camera. Sorry for the vertigo. And oh, that was close. So here it is. It is a beautiful rose gold limited edition big shot. It's got all kinds of goodies in it. It's got plates and it's got looks like papers and foils it's got dies and a stamp set all kinds of good stuff and before i reveal that winner once again let me thank all of you all of you for your support over the last month the last year the last five years uh, we certainly wouldn't be where we are today uh, without you so grand prize there it is there it is again here we go. Can you see it through the paper? A big, huge congratulations to Patricia Headley. Congratulations, Patricia. We will, Patricia is one of our lovely ladies who comes to see us many a Tuesday night during our pickup hours here in Whitby. So Patricia, we will have this for you here next Tuesday uh, for you to pick up and I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get lots of love and joy from this beautiful machine. So congratulations to all 16 of our winners. Congratulations to the 20 ladies who have won $10 vouchers over the last four weeks. And you know what? Hang with me just a few more minutes because I have tonight's five winners. They are, um, they're the last five. It's a $10 voucher. I will email you tomorrow with those winners. Let me just get Matt's list here because we've got lots of goodies here. All right. So congratulations to our first of our last five winners tonight, Debbie Westcott. Number two is Serena Lee. Number three is Jenny Ma. Jenny is a long time loyal customer. We see her, we've seen her in lots of classes. Uh, Serena is a new friend and Debbie is a very friendly friend. Um, that, that kind, kind of came out wrong, but you know, we love you, Debbie. Um, Lisa L. I think that's Lisa Lisa on her Facebook name and Judy points. So those are our last five secret word winners for our fifth anniversary. Ladies, I will email you your coupon, uh, or sorry, your voucher tomorrow. Uh, if I don't have your email address. Uh, Lisa, I think is one um, that maybe I don't have your email address. Um, if I do, then maybe that's great. But email me at customer service at craftersworkshop.ca or private message the store uh, with your email address and I will get that information out to you. All right, that is it for me tonight, ladies. Uh, make sure you check out that new arrival section on the website. Make sure you watch your inbox. Uh, both tomorrow and possibly on the weekend. Uh, and we look forward to kicking off September in pumpkin spice style starting tomorrow. Congratulations to everyone. And again, thank you from the bottom of my heart for um, all of your support, all of your friendship and all of your craftiness. Have a wonderful night, everyone. Take care.